Uh, I guess never mind. Whoa! Hello there everyone and welcome to a brand new video and in this one I'm going to be checking out some itch.io horror games three of them to be exact and the first game we're gonna be checking out is a game called Silent Mementos so use the doors just simply walk directly into them just like in real life and if the door goes inwards and not outwards then I'm simply stuck in that room forever destined to die because I shall still live the life of only walking directly into doors instead of opening them. October 9th, 1983. My name is Lucy. I have a boyfriend named Nigel who likes to make video recordings of old abandoned houses for contractors. Recently he was hired to inspect a house that has been abandoned for a few years now. Normally I wouldn't think too much about it but there has been some recent reports of people going missing in that area and I didn't want him to go. He told me I shouldn't worry about it and and he promised he'll be back in a few days. It's been over three days now and he hasn't returned or even tried to contact me. So I decided I'll head to the house and see if he's okay. By the time I got to the house it was already late and what's worse it began to rain. Luckily despite the house being abandoned for some time it appeared that all the lights were on suggesting Nigel must still be inside. I immediately went into the house and began to look for him. Okay that's one hell of a backstory story right there. I am intrigued. It's a projector that can play Super 8 films. Wonder why this is here. Well, your boyfriend likes to make films, don't he? So, I don't know why you're so confused by that. How do I open? Oh yeah, you just walk directly into them. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that I lived the life of walking directly into doors instead of opening them. Strange, the door isn't locked, but it's like something won't let me through. Probably because you're not touching the doorknob and instead just walking into them. Oh, what the hell? What happened to the door? Uh, th there was a door there, wasn't there? I just completely forgot and we got a scribbled note 4. So I guess we're picking up notes not in chronological order. <laughs> we're doing it memento style, which I guess why the game is called Silent Mementos. The exit is right in front of me and yet the door won't open. What more does she want from me when the last thing she asked me to do was clean up her mess? I thought this was her way of suggesting that she was done playing with me and she'll let me go. Guess she has one last thing for me. Whatever it is, I'll do it. I must leave this place. What is this? Who is Nigel talking about? Maybe this film can shed some light on what's happening. I mean, it does say watch it, so I guess we're gonna go and watch it. I guess we just conveniently found everything we needed to get this going. I need to load some film into this projector. Uh, I'm on the other side, I guess. No? How <laughs> do I load the uh, projector? Oh! I, I have to use the scroll button to scroll and choose the reel. Okay, I get it. Help put away my toys. Oh! I'm actually playing inside of the reel. <laughs> this is me controlling Nigel, I'm assuming. And we're holding a lighter whilst being very sad that it's raining outside so we can't have a smoke. So we're just gonna walk around holding the lighter for comfort. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna do what the note said. Pick up all the toys and put them away. I can do that. Oh, uh, there we go. Is that all of them? Are there any more? Ah, never mind. There's a ball in the sink. Oh, and I left a handprint. Very spoopy. There we go. We have now put away away all the toys. Can we get through the door now? Oh, we can! Did that open the door for us? <gasps> okay, uh, that's pretty fucking cool actually. And we got another note. Oh, sorry, not a note. A diary page. Dear diary, daddy's got another job to work on another film. And mommy is also going to have a part in the film. So you know what that means? Another couple of lonely nights with TV dinners. Like I understand they must work to buy those TV dinners, but it seems like they care more about the films they create rather than me. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad if we didn't have to live so far away from town. Then I would at least be able to hang out with the other kids. But instead, I am trapped in this house with just you and my dolls. What do you mean, just you? Are you talking about me? Because uh, if you have dolls, I don't want to play with you. I don't like dolls. Locked better look for a key. Well, lucky for you, we actually just picked up a key. Scribbled note three. Am I going insane? This camera helps me see what she wants me to see. But when I start filming, I feel like something's guiding me. Like I know I am performing the actions, but for some reason it feels like it's not completely me doing this. I almost want to not touch this camera, but I know that I won't be able to 
progress if I don't. Are you talking about me controlling you in the future? Man, this game is um, quite something. It's uh, confusing to say the least. Tell me a bedtime story. Um, okay. The Voengong Sovagrusad. The end. <laughs> That's a little Swedish yolk for you. Huh, what do we got here? We picked up a, a picture of a crocodile? Cool beans. I'm guessing we're picking up a bunch of drawings that we can tell a story with. Put them in order. Okay, so we need four drawings and we gotta tie it. Can we flush it? No. Highly disappointed. What, why did it get so dark? All of a sudden, what's over here? Whoa. I saw something through the fucking window, man. I swear to fuck. I don't know what that was, but it creeped me out. Alright, so we need to put these in order, eh? I'm guessing this one first, and then this one, and then this one, and this one. The story of the Red Riding Hood. Can we go through the door now? Okay, well, shit. What did I do wrong? She goes up to the door, this Malfalca shows up, eats her, and takes her clothes, right? Or is it these two that needs to be switched maybe is that it oh, okay the big old crocodile wolf whatever the heck it is walked into the house before red riding hood no problem progress so what now maybe i go into the kids room and pick up another note and key by the looks of it and there's the good old rabbit that we've never seen in a video game before how you doing jeremiah diary page two dear diary i recently came up with this wonderful idea maybe if i try creating my own movies for mom and dad, they would be interested in spending more time with me. I found a camera in my parents' bedroom, and I'm going to record my dolls who will be the stars in my movie. The camera seems to not record sound though, so I'm probably going to try and perform the sound during viewing. Anyway, once I finish making it, I'm planning to surprise mom with it by hiding it in her jewelry box. They will definitely love the movie. It's about a family living in a magical house, and they spend all their time playing games and such. Oh, I better get to work on the movie right Right away. Alright, jewelry box. Oh yeah, we, we need to switch to the key. Because we can't hold a flashlight and the key at the same time, mind you. And let me guess, we got another note. Oh hell yeah, we do. I don't know what to say. This place goes beyond what people can view as supernatural. Whoever controls this house seems to control space and time. It feels like it's already been a day. Yet, it's still pitch black. And the rain doesn't look like it's dying down. And I still can't have my Siggy boy. Alright, so we got another reel. Let's go and put it in into the projector and control Nigel once again confusing him even further oh we're in the basement oh we're about to play some pool although it looks like uh, someone has already started playing it and uh, we better not jump in mid game and disturb them and why is there a giant almond on the floor <laughs> it's either that or a grave do we need a spa there so we can grab up the grove now all of a sudden there's letters on the wall I'm guessing we're starting with B oh we're trying to find the letters to B build the word on the door so I guess it can open it's not like we've had normal doors up until now but I'm gonna guess the word is buried that seems to be the case because there's a grave and someone has been buried in it R I E D did I do good are you proud of me mom and dad yes look at that I'm, I'm sorry sorry for what? But our playtime isn't over. What do you mean it isn't over? Uh, well, oh, okay, that, that was the end of that reel. I am now more confused than ever before. <laughs> Speaking of getting confused, we're now in the basement somehow. Maybe there's a shovel somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. I got the shovel. Time to dig up a grave. Oh god, it's Nigel. Excuse me, but how the fuck can you tell it's Nigel? I can only see hands. I guess you've been holding those hands for so many years. You know those hands by the back of your hand. He looks like he's been dead for some time, but how can that be? Who was the person recording those films? Um, I don't know. Good question. But we do have another note here. Dear Diary, I hate mom and dad. I thought they would love my surprise movie, but no. Instead, dad yelled at me for recording over some important previous film strips. And mom was mad that I dumped her jewels in the garden so I could make room to fit my movie in the box. You didn't have to dump the jewels in the garden, you could have just put them somewhere else in the room? I told them I was sorry, but instead both mom and dad gave me a hard smack on my cheeks, Jesus Christ, and sent me to my 
room with no dinner. Oh no, no TV dinner? But I want some hangry man. They didn't bother to watch the movie I worked so hard to create. Honestly, I no longer care. I wish I could get a new mom and dad. Or at least someone that I can play with and not get hurt by them. Yeah, that's totally understandable. I wouldn't to want to have a new mom and dad as well if they smack me across the face for whatever reason. Doesn't matter, don't smack your kids, please, goddamn. Scribbled note one. Hopefully writing these will keep my focus. I did what she asked me, but instead of letting me leave, she decided to lock me in the basement for who knows how long. And the next thing I know, a Super 8 camera just appeared out of nowhere. What does she want me to do with this thing? Is this some sort of game of hers? Are we playing the daughter in this uh, story? Maybe? That would be pretty neat. And speaking of neat, that right there is not neat. That's blood on the floor. Not a fan of that. Oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> it's just Jeremiah. It's fine. <laughs> it scared me though a little bit. Dear diary, I have some great news to share. After what happened the other day, mom and dad took me into town with them. Since they didn't trust me being home alone at this time, I still hate them. But with them taking me into town, I was able to meet someone. This wonderful man who told me he would be more than happy to come over to my house and play with me. Heck, he even said that he could get me a new mom and dad as well. I told them where I live, so I am now eagerly waiting for him to arrive. Oh, we are going to have so much fun. Maybe I'll show him my movie, and maybe we can make one together. I just can't wait. Oh, shit. That's not good at all. Wait, was it Nigel? Or is it me? Who is this wonderful man? I hope it's not me in any way, shape, or form. I had fun playing with you. Okay, I'm glad you had fun. Whoa, that... <laughs> Fucking lighter scared me, just popping up out of nowhere. And I did promise I'll let you leave. I guess you did, and I hope you will. There is just one last thing. I hope this last thing isn't me dying. You helped me get a new daddy, but I did. Oh, hey. I would also like a new mommy. Okay? And. Wait. That was the ending? <laughs> oh, you mean uh, that the character we played became the new mommy? I'm guessing that's wh what just happened. Man, that game was a total mindfuck, I'm not gonna lie. But not necessarily in a bad way. In fact, I quite enjoyed that. That was pretty good. Very creative, very unique. I don't think I've ever played a game where you're controlling the character in a reel that we're watching. And by doing so, you progress for the character that you're playing outside of the real. It was it was really cool. And uh, yeah, with that said though, let's move on to the second game for this video, shall we? Which will be No Snake Hotel. We're gonna go to a hotel that I assume doesn't have any snakes in it. So Samuel L. Jackson's character in the movie Snakes on a Plane would be very proud. Welcome to the No Snake Hotel. The only hotel with a 99.99% .99 no snake guarantee. Here at the No Snake Hotel, we pride ourselves in our incomprehensible lack of snakes. <laughs> at other hotels, you run the constant risk of finding a snake in your bed sheets, a snake in your toilet, or even waking up to a snake sliding down your throat. <laughs> Call the front desk for questions and enjoy your stay at the No Snake Hotel. <laughs> God damn. Now that's an intro. I, I, I really like that. That's funny. 99.99% .99 guaranteed. No refund if snake is seen. <laughs> so even if you do happen to find a snake, you will not get a refund. That 99.99% .99 is to cover their ass, that's for sure. I just arrived at the hotel. Good golly Bart. This place is immaculate. Good golly Bart. That's the first time I've ever heard that. You know how much I hate snakes. So I went out of my way to stay at the No Snake Hotel. They've really done it, Bart. Oh, uh, they're talking to someone named Bart. I thought it was just a saying. Good golly, Bart. <laughs> I mean, it should become a saying. There are absolutely no snakes in this hotel. Well, let's hope that that note ain't lying straight to my face. Find room 100. Okay. Ah, oh, there's not a note here. I'm living the dream. I didn't think it was possible, but I sure am happy it is. The no snake hotel really lives up to its name. Ever since I was a little girl and got abducted by an army of rabid snakes while on vacation, I I haven't left my home. After 50 years in solitude, I finally have a safe place where I can vacation. Thanks, No Snake Hotel. God damn, for being a game that was made under 48 hours, they really built up a great story. Oh no, someone needs to fix that sign. It says 10 instead of, what should it be? 111. Which is even more confusing, because that's a zero. And there's no zeros in 111. Believe you me, I've seen that number several of times. And not a single one of those times, there's been a zero in the number 111. 
them. I feel safer than ever here. One time at some other hotel, I walked into my room and when I turned around to shut the door, there was a snake as long as my arm dangling from the coat hook. But here at the No Snake Hotel, I don't need to worry about what creepy slithering creatures might be standing behind me. Ah, good golly Bart. We truly are in heaven. Also, someone needs to fix that. Chairs are not supposed to block doors, you see. That way they can't get through the door, you know? That's 101. I think we're going to 100, right? Is it in here somewhere? Oh no, there's blood on the floor again. What? What was that? Uh, I guess. Never mind. Whoa! Okay, that's a fucking snake! <laughs> Well, the note certainly did lie to me. There was a snake in this hotel. And not just any snake, but a giant fucking snake. <laughs> but to be fair, it was only 99.99% guaranteed there would be no snakes. And that right there was a 0.01% in action. <laughs> so yeah, that was no snake hotel. That was extremely short. But somehow, really good. I <laughs> really enjoyed that. And with that said, let's move on to the third and final game for this video. Uncle Panko's Terrible Little Farm. And I have a feeling that even with the last game that we just played in mind this right here will probably be the strangest game out of the three that we're checking out in this video and I'm quite excited to jump into it so let's do that immediately shall we ah that's one beautiful bus right there greeting Steven it is I your uncle Panko I hope you are well your parents tell me that you are soon to graduate a fine achievement indeed Quentin it feels like just yesterday you could barely walk and talk and now you're almost fully grown how time flies. Looking back, it seems that I haven't actually seen you in person since then. And for that, I apologize. I'm just so busy at the farm nowadays. Which brings me to the point of this letter. I would like to invite you to spend the summer here with me. It would be nice to have some help and we could make up for all the lost time. If you would like to accept my offer, Jeremy. Uh, <laughs> he keeps mixing up my name. First I was Quentin and now I'm Jeremy. Okay, fair enough. All you have to do is take the bus to the farthest stop at the outside skirts of the next town over. Once you get there, just follow the dirt path cutting through the woods. My farm is just around the corner. Hope to see you soon, Jeremy, Quinton, whatever your name is. Uncle Panko. I love the name, Panko. Oh, and here we are. We have arrived into the woods and I can already see something purple over there. So I'm just gonna go straight through the woods, ignoring the dirt path, because clearly we didn't need it. Hey, we got a little garden gnome. Can I talk to the garden gnome? Now he doesn't want to welcome me to the farm. Tell me about all the magical times I'll be having here. Maybe this note will. Michael, my boy, for crying out loud. I'm glad that you decided to visit. Unfortunately, something unexpected came up and I'll be gone for the first few days of your stay. Would you mind doing some work around the farm until I return? I know it's a lot to ask since you'll be all by yourself, but if anyone can handle it, you can, Robert. I've left a few more instructions around the house to help you. And I'll take on the majority of the work again once I get back. The key to the front door is located under the little goblin on the porch and your room is on the second floor. Make yourself at home. Goblin, you say? You mean a garden gnome? You seem to be a very confused old person. And I don't blame you. I feel that on a personal level. Here's uh, the bathroom. Maybe there's a note in the bathroom telling me how to take a shower and to take a shit at the very same time. Which is simply by shitting in the shower while you're taking a shower. And then watch as the shit disintegrates into the pipes to never be seen again. Just like Uncle Panko always wants. Wanted. Ah, here's a note. Lenny. <laughs> I see you found the barn. The cows can be quite rowdy, especially on Sundays, Thursdays, and the second Wednesday of every other month. So if you hear any odd sounds coming from inside, pay them no mind. I fed them and locked the door before I left, so they shouldn't bother you today. Tomorrow, however, I would like you to let them out to grace. The key to the barn door is hanging in the entryway of the house. Please leave it locked until the sun comes up tomorrow. Okay, will do. We got another note here. Dearest nephew, apologies. Apologies, but I forgot to mention something important. Life out in the wilderness can be a bit rougher than life in the suburbs, especially at night. Not all the time, but enough that some caution is warranted. So before the sun fully sets each day, I need you to go inside of the house and remain there until it rises again. Today, specifically, you'll need to make sure to shut and lock the back and front doors in that order, back then front, before going to bed as well. So this is the front door, yeah? And that's the key. Can I pick up the key? No? Okay. And then we close this door and lock it. And I 
think I did it in order. First back, then front, I think it said. And I think I just did front and then back. Oh shit, I fucked it up. Ah oh, man, I'm a stupid little son of a gun, aren't I? Well, I guess we're going to bed. Never mind that I just locked the doors in the wrong order. It's fine, nothing will happen. Um, I think something happened. And uh, we got a note here. Rodney. Oh shit. It seems you may have made a mistake during your nightly routine. Yeah, that's alright. Nobody's perfect. Unfortunately, that means that one of them got inside the house. What do you mean, one of them? This is fixable, but you need to follow these instructions exactly as I have written them. Take a red candle from your bedside drawer and light it. Then walk with it calmly to the downstairs bathroom and lock yourself in. There's a pillow and a blanket in the cabinet under the sink in case you need it. The bathtub isn't exactly the most comfortable place to sleep in in the house, but it's better than the alternative. And I'm guessing the alternative is Stein. Okay, I need to pick up the red candle and I've lighted it and then I calmly walk downstairs to the bathroom. This time I won't fuck it up, okay? Wait, is this staircase fucking endless or something? I can't seem to reach the bottom. Is this Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64? Or... Oh, what the fuck was that? Okay, let's go into the bathroom. Can we, can we lock it, please? Okay, whatever the fuck that was, locked it for us. Let's grab the uh, pillow and uh, go to bed in the bathtub, yeah? Pretty sure I followed the instructions this time around. That was fucking creepy, man. I didn't expect that. All because I locked the doors in the wrong order. But at least we did survive. So that's, that's, that's good. All right, so I think he said we should go and let the cows out. Now when the sun has arisen and it's blessing the skies. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, okay. Calm your tits. Is there anything in here? We can't even walk in here but there is a trash bag over there that's very happy to see me hey how did you get out here you're not supposed to be out here cow no 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 come back cow just come back in everything will be fine okay i think it's following now what the uh, whatever got into our fucking house last night that's out here. Come with me, cow. Don't worry about a thing. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> Uncle Punky, you better fucking explain yourself and stop calling me Mogi. If you're reading this, you're probably doing well. I'm very proud. Yes, I'm glad you're proud of me, but can you please explain what the fuck is out there trying to kill me? Besides caring for the livestock, I'd like you to harvest some of my crops today. The purple stuff, to be specific. Grab the cycle next to the gate and get started whenever you're ready. Make sure to keep an eye on your surroundings while you're harvesting. The field is small and it's more like a patch than anything else. But some little rascals still tend to hide in there when the crops are at their tallest. Don't worry too much about it. Just stay on your toes and you'll do fine. Okay, Uncle Panko. I guess I'll do that. I don't think some little rascals are gonna be too much of a problem. What? Uh, uh, what is that noise? What? What the fuck is that over there? Hello? Excuse me while I'm just harvesting. What just happened? Did I die? What? Okay, I guess we're letting the cows out again. That motherfucker gonna run away. Come back here, cow. Once again, I'm gonna take you back to the farm. Once again. Because apparently I died by fucking something. Am I supposed to kill it before it kills me or something? What, what happens if I try to kill it? Okay, okay. I think I got it. I have to walk up to it and make it go away. I didn't think that walking up towards an enemy would... Uh... <laughs> be the solution. In most cases, you wouldn't want to walk straight up to an enemy, right? Because they can, you know, kill you. But it's not like anything else in this game has been normal. I shouldn't be questioning things with other words. And also, there's no little goblin here. How you doing, my dude? All right, I fucking survived this time. Let's read this note and see what uh, name it will call me this time. Christoffel? Thank you again for doing all of this while I'm gone. I promise you won't have to spend your whole summer here just doing work around the farm. Why don't you herd the cows back into the barn and take the rest of the day off. Just ring the chimes next to the barn doors three times exactly and they'll take it from there. After that, you can head on back to the house. Okay, that seems easy enough. I should be able to follow those instructions very well. One, two, three. There we go. And back in they go and they close the barn doors after themselves. Thanks, lads. I'm glad that you can close the doors, but you can't open them. Okay, uh, let's read yet another note. Rise and shine, Mr. Mr. Freeman, today you're going to meet my chickens, or rather, my chickens' eggs. They should have laid.
made a good amount of them by now. And I'd like you to go out of the coop and gather them. There's a basket on the kitchen counter. You can use to hold them. Just put it back where you found it when you're done. Oh, one more thing. Chickens make easy prey for some of the local wildlife. And their eggs are even easier. So stay on guard and don't let anything sneak up on you while you're distracted gathering eggs. But most importantly, have fun! Is this it? Yes. Oh, hey, I fucking see you. I don't even fucking dare. I'm just here to pick out some eggs, man. And I'm doing it quickly. <laughs> Look at that fucking speed run picking up eggs, man. No problem, baby. Let's go. All right, let's read the 90 notes. My boy. Thank you again for helping out around the farm. I know it might not exactly be fun, especially not by yourself, but I hope you might grow to love this land as I have. Anyway, I think you've done everything important for now, I think. Feel free to spend the rest of the day as you wish. Just head to bed whenever you get tired. I'm sure I didn't forget anything. I'm just gonna go straight to bed. I'm tired. I need some shut-eye. Ah, shite. What is out to get me this time, huh? Ah, oh, you want me to open door? Okay, fine. I'll open the door. Uncle Panko, was that you? <laughs> Nephew, I think I forgot to mention something I've never forgotten before. The goblin, quote-unquote, that you took the house key from when you first arrived? There's a non-zero chance that it might have been replaced by a gnome. Oh, it all makes sense now. And if you took the key from it, you will have effectively invited it into the house to stay. I don't own any gnomes, but one of my neighbors does, and it doesn't like to share. I won't sugarcoat it. You're in serious trouble. By the time you finish reading this note, I reckon you'll have about one minute to find a gnome in the house and give it back before its owner gets inside to take it. Check everywhere you can think of, around the corners, inside the cabinets, everywhere. It could be hiding anywhere. Once you find it, just open the front door and throw it outside. Literally, just throw the thing out. Okay, we're now looking for a fucking gnome that we accidentally invited at the start of the game. That explains why you call it a goblin and not a garden gnome that- Oh, there it is, there it is, I got it. I got your fucking gnome, man, there you go. Now fuck off. Did I? Did I make it? Am I good? Yes? Who is it? Hey, it's Uncle Panko! There's my favorite nephew that I can't remember the fucking name of. How great to finally see you after all this time. You're quite a bit shorter than I remembered. I'm sorry I was gone for so long. I hope you weren't too bored here all by yourself. Hmm? Notes? Shores? Weird creatures from the fields in the forest? Why, I'm certain I only sent you one letter and left one note on the front door before you arrived. You must have had a nightmare of some kind and I don't blame you. It can be a little scary out here sometimes, especially on your own. The fuck are you talking about? I'm so confused. Panko, please. Well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. How about I make us breakfast and then I'll give you the grand tour of the property. I don't worry about that. I've seen most of it. I hope you're ready for a summer of fun. I am most certainly ready for a summer of fun. Ending to summer of fun. So there are several endings to this apparently? That's interesting. I'm not gonna be checking out the other endings though because I'm quite happy with that ending. That, 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 that's a good ending right there. I really enjoyed that game. That, that was a lot of fun. It was cute, but also scary. A combination that I think should be done more often because most of the time it really works like really well because you don't know what kind of scary stuff you're about to experience because they're not really setting it up in a creepy or ominous way because everything is cute. And then all of a sudden, scary shit. So you're kind of unprepared, which I really enjoy. And if you want to check out the other endings, I will leave a link to this game down below in the video description as well as the other games that I played today if y'all wanna check those out as well. And uh, yeah, that was fun. I had a good time. And I hope y'all had a good time watching this video. And if you did, it would be really neat a burrito of y'all if you would smash that like button and that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And uh, until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.